Welcome back, friends, to the shop. So in today's video, we're going to talk about vices. I have finally settled on which vice we're going to be putting on the machinist or the mechanics heavy-duty workbench that we're building. And I did, did decide to go with a homeowner-grade vice versus a full-on professional vice, primarily because of cost. So I'm going to compare the two, what the differences are between a, a decent homeowner-style vice and a full-on professional vice. Um, and then you can kind of weigh the differences and then make the right decision which is going to be the best for you. And here it is, the Yoast 455. This is an excellent little vise uh, for the money. Now keep in mind, this is a homeowner grade vise. This is not going to be a heritage vise, you know, one that you're going to pass down to your kids. But if you're not a mechanic or not a machinist, this is really a nice little unit. And I'm, to be honest with you guys, I am astonished that it can be had uh, for as low a price as it is. I ordered this off of Amazon. This is a five and a half inch vise uh, from a good reputable company. I think Yoast has been around over, for over a hundred years. They have many lines, you know, like a lot of manufacturers, they have their full on pro lines, USA made stuff, and they've got their overseas made stuff. But when I look at it, the fit and finish and all the features it has, it's really an incredible value. $77 and that included sh shipping, uh, free prime shipping. Uh, it's just hard to believe. So let's look at the features and why I chose this. My vice that I have, the snap-on vice that I use, of course, is a heritage vice, but it's 10 times the cost. Yeah, I kid you not. I think that vice retails for close to $800, maybe even more than 10 times. So, I mean, hard to justify, right? If you're just a homeowner and you're just doing, you know, just using them occasionally, I wouldn't recommend it. You know, if you're a shop or a pro, that's a whole different deal we'll discuss here in a minute. But the features that I was looking for is I wanted that five and a half inch width. So we got lots of width, lots of surface area. I wanted replaceable jaws, which we have. So when these get worn down or beat up or chipped, we can replace them. And the fact that it's coming from Yoast, it, they're gonna be around for forever. You're gonna be able to get parts and you're gonna have support and you're gonna have a warranty, right? The other thing is, is the dual locking um, screws here and the ability to rotate this vise 360 degrees. That's not the case with most of these homeowner vices. You know, they'll only do like 120. This is really important for several reasons. You, we're gonna mount this on the corner of our bench and you never know what you're gonna need to clamp or how you're going to need to access it. So having a, a vise that rotates 360 degrees is very handy. Some guys, you know, when they're working particular, particular things, they want the thing out of the way and you can rotate it out of the way and, and do what you need to do. Good, heavy cast uh, housing. We've got the heavy base for mounting. I do really like the double screws on here. Some vices will only have one. My previous vice, the Craftsman vice, I had only had one and I never could get it tight. It was always wiggling around a little bit. The other thing you get from this one, which you don't get from a lot of them, is the ability to clamp um, round stock in there. So you've got you know, we've got these jaws. They're not replaceable like the high quality vices, but they are cast into it. And you can hold anything from an eighth inch all the way up to two and a half inch with this. It's got a deep throat right here. You can, uh, you can from here down is three hundred or three and a quarter inches. So you can put large material in it. I mean, it just checks all the boxes. Not to mention it's got a nice big anvil position here on the back that's almost the same size as my big snap-on one, not much different, that's really uh, important for pounding um, and all sorts of different things. So it is a great little vise uh, for the value. Now I do need to warn you, if you've decided that the little Yoast vise is a good fit for you, you probably want to stop watching now because what I'm about to show you is not going to make you feel very good about your vice. <laughs> when you start comparing it to a heritage type of vice. When I say heritage or a heritage tool, that means something that you're going to be passing down to generations. Now, should you buy a heritage vice? Well, we're gonna cover the differences here and you'll have to make up your mind uh, for that. But keep in mind, if you are patient and you can look around, you can find these vices. I actually just did a search on eBay for this very same one and I did see one for about $450 and that included shipping. So they can be had, but be careful because these do wear out. The good side is they can be replaced. Um, or everything in there is pretty much all rebuildable. But let's start going over the differences. And this is really an interesting comparison uh, for the simple fact that these are both five and a half inch vices. Now don't be confused with that number. That's not how far it opens. That's how wide it is at the jaws. This is five and a half. This is a five and a half inch 
uh, vise right here. So let's start at the front and we'll start looking at the differences here. Okay, obviously this vise has double the mass. Um, it's going to be way heavier, probably double the weight and everything about it's gonna be bigger from especially right here. So this is a portion, if you do this handle, if you're doing really heavy work, you know, you'll see guys that have inexpensive vices and these are always bent because they put a pipe on them, right? They didn't have enough leverage there that they could get the clamping, sorry, camera problem there. They didn't have the leverage that they needed. Uh, so they end up putting a pipe on them and bend, bending them, right? You're not gonna have to do that with these. You have a long handle, very, very thick and robust. Look at the difference. Just the diameter of it there is pretty significant. Also, just the jack screw in the front here, you can see this is all going to be replaceable. This is a, something, this is a wear item and it'll get looser and looser and sloppier. You can simply order the parts, swap that out, um, and make your vice new again. This one is not gonna, you're not gonna have that option, right? So just, just FYI, look at the base. You can see here from the top right there, big difference in the bases. Um, again, it just comes down to size and mass and the jaws. You're gonna have, uh, these are a little bit crude right here. You can see, you know, not, not machine, not super high grade like we're gonna have here on the snap-on ones. And of course, the obvious thing is USA made. You're going to pay for that um, dearly, uh, but you're also going to have something that's going to be the best that money can buy. Not to say that this won't work, but you know we we got to just we got to compare apples to apples here. We have a very nice striking anvil, uh, which is not um, not too much different from the from the snap-on. I guess more when I look at it here is a little bit more than I thought, but just the mass and size of everything, of course. You're gonna have big, large locking screws here. This particular vise, the way that it's mounted, I can essentially, I, can, I have had huge steel bars on there with big cheater extensions and pipes. It's not moving. You cannot break it loose. You cannot break it free. It is absolutely just a bomb-proof vise. And you can see the type of, the way that the jack works on here, it's kind of self-contained. It's a lot more robust and it's a lot tougher than the C-channel like we have here. Uh, but again, this is gonna work. Uh, it's, you have to keep in mind the cost difference. But to be honest, you know, for the, the difference, let's say $800, $750 versus $77, this one here starts looking a lot better uh, to me. This particular vise here, for what I do and, and the type of work I could do, if this vise were mounted on the corner of my bench, uh, it would probably be just fine. It would, I don't know that I would ever have to, to have anything different than that. It's just, um, you know, it just comes down to uh, personal choices here. But just, I just wanted you to kind of see the two differences. Also, you know, everything is gonna be rebuildable on these heritage vices, you know, including your pipe clamps, which are gonna be replaceable, you know, just that sort of thing. But uh, just kind of an interesting comparison, and you'll have to you'll have to make that call which one's going to be the best choice for you. The five and a half inch Yoast was the cheapest vice on Amazon when I factor in the ratings. Now, when I do these cheapest things on Amazon videos, first off, I'm not affiliated with anyone. I don't do any product placement. I don't get any of this stuff for free. I pay full price just like you guys would. I'm not beholden to anyone. I keep getting accused of doing product placement in every single video because I have, well, tool manufacturers, they plaster their names all over everything and I don't do any product placement. And if I did, I would tell you guys, I'm completely independent here. I can choose whatever I want to choose. So the reason why I chose this one and why I'm calling it the cheapest on Amazon is because when I say cheapest on Amazon tools, I don't, I don't, I don't even think about the things that have low star ratings. I am not going to be showing anything that has less than a four star rating on it. And this has a really good rating on it. A lot of guys have bought them and been really happy with them. So uh, just know that this is completely objective. I'm paying for all of this stuff um, and I do the research. I don't talk to anyone. I could call any one of these vice manufacturers at, at any time and they'd send me a dozen um, to have their stuff featured in these videos and I'm not doing that. Um, I would buy it, I'm buying it just like you guys would buy it. So I will put it and I will put an Amazon affiliate link for this vice in the subject heading if you want to order one. That's the way to, that you can help. If you're building this or you want a good shop vice, you can just go click on that and they give us a, you know, a couple bucks and it helps to offset the cost of buying all the stuff and producing the videos and it doesn't come out of your pocket and you're getting objective, honest 
uh, reviews, which is, is very important. It's not always the case on YouTube. And I promise you guys, if I all, as I always have, if I am being paid to push something or to endorse something, I will say that at the very beginning of the video, there'll be no question. And you can make the decision if you want to go on uh, or not. So just to clarify on that, there is no product placement. There is no endorsements. There is no advertising other than just um, the F Amazon affiliate links. Um, that's the way I do it. So thanks for watching. Uh, keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your family. And we will see you guys on the next video.